Hi, welcome to the ASP.NET web form and NTT framework learning by example project. Today in this video, I want to show you how to add the add to cart hyperlink into some another location of the product on on the system. Okay, so you can see here on the home screen we have a add to cart hyperlink here, and when the user click on add to cart, it will add this product into the shopping cart. Okay, click this one, and when the user want to go through the site and continue shopping, they click on the continue shopping button here. Okay, so we have some other location we contain the product, something like the filter here, Asus, it already have that top. Okay, already have here, and when the user view the detail, Okay, we don't have. So now I will go ahead to add the hyperlink into the product detail pad. Okay, anything product we don't already have. iPhone. Okay, cool. So now we have only the product detail. It did not contain the hyperlink here. Okay, cool. So now I will open the Visual Studio and I will see the product detail page. I will open the user control. It is um, product detail. Okay. I will add a deep underneath of the bright here. Okay. Finally, I will open the home page and copy the hyperlink. I put it here. Control KD to format. Okay. Perorak IG. Shopping. Okay. Related product and related product. Okay. The same thing. I will put the hyperlink under bright here. Control KD to do format. Okay. So let me use the solution. I will go back to the website. I will refresh this one to see the chain. If we have no issue, so yeah, here you can see now after I refresh the page, I can see the hyperlink add to cart had been added into the product detail and also related product section. Okay, so now here. Over, yes, I can see the product ID has been changed in the link. Okay, if I click on add to cart hyperlink here, it will direct me to the shopping cart. And the selected product also added into the shopping cart as well. Okay. Yeah.
cool. I can also change the quantity of selected product in the shopping cart. I click click on the update button here to update the subtotal and the total of the order. Yeah. You can see here after we click on the update, the quantity and also the subtotal and total has been changed with a new price. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And we have just added something for the add to cart here. Okay, okay, so now I will also go ahead to update a little bit for the navigation. And maybe in the next time, in another video, I will add something into the, the navigation here. So I will do it first. I will change the style sheet for this one to make to make the spaces between the the, 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 the the link here is smaller. I will select this one. Mm. Here, navigation and the hyperlink, the padding you can see here. Okay, I will change it a little bit. For this one is padding right and padding left. Okay, it should be five. Okay, ten. Okay, so I think it's that that five. I will update it to the ten. Copy this one. Okay, I back to because here I just uh, edit the stylesheet in the bootstrap dot c edit file directly. So here I don't want to change because this one is a CS file. We get it from the uh, the bootstrap website. So actually I don't want to edit this one and just keep it by default. So I will open the stylesheet dot CS file. That is my the stylesheet file. So I can go ahead to edit anything in my 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 file. Script here. No, it is in the content style. I will scroll it down. Put it here. Okay. I will back to the website and try to refresh it. Clear the cake. Okay. You can see here after we clear the cake. The new style sheet has been applied for 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 navigation here. Okay, so now when you click on in view page shortcut here, you can see yeah. So by default, when we load the HTML on the page, so it will load all of the all of line of code and the resources from from the top to bottom. So here you can see the bootstrap.cs file e on the top and the content style.cs file this one in my file style sheet. So I it is below the so I mean the content in uh, content and style sheet in the style.cs file here will be load later after we finish the bootstrap CS loading. That means um, when we add new the class here, it will it will override all of the thing in the in in the bootstrap dot cs file. Okay. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And in this video today, I have just help you to add the add to cart hyperlink into some another location of the product in the system and I also change a little bit the style sheet for the navigation. In the next video I will add something into the navigation so today to save the time for the next video so I will have the change it the style sheet. Okay I hope this video will helpful for you and do let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later.